Greetings and welcome to Living Supernaturally. Thank you once again for giving us this beautiful opportunity to come together, spend a few moments in God's word and in prayer. We wrap up this week by talking about God's will will last forever. 1 John chapter 2 and verse 17. The world and its desires pass away, but whoever does the will of God lives forever. The will of God is found in God's law. Whoever does the will of God keeps the law of God. This passage ties keeping the law of God to gaining life eternal everlasting. This provides great comfort for all who keep God's law. It is interesting that John contrasts love for the world with love for God. One passes away but the other goes on forever. A missionary who was later martyred summed it up well. He is no fool who gives up what he cannot keep in order to gain what he cannot lose. In Acts 23, 11, the following night, the Lord stood near Paul and said, Take courage, as you have testified about me in Jerusalem, so you must also testify in Rome. The religious leaders were trying to stop Paul. They were willing to do whatever it takes, even agreeing to plot and kill him. More than 40 people had taken an oath not to eat or drink till they had Paul killed. It seemed as if it could be the end of Paul and his earthly ministry. But the Lord encouraged him the night before saying that he will also bring the good news of Jesus in Rome. God would provide a way for Paul. It may not be the way Paul initially thought it would be, but God's plan could not be stopped. God's plans always triumph over the plans of people, especially when it comes to plots of destruction and death. God's plan may sometimes appear to be frustrated or even defeated. But there is always more to the story. When people think they can do it as they please, ignoring God or believing He has no power, eventually and finally, God's plan will prevail. The next few chapters we see Apostle Paul testify about Jesus in places and to people where, we, where he would not normally have an audience. A prisoner, as a prisoner, under protection in Rome, he may be in chains, but he was free to preach about Jesus and his love. God's plan will always be triumphant. God's plan will always win. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for, for your word and what we have learnt today and over this week, O oh God. We pray, Lord, that we surrender our plans into your hands. May your will be done in each of our lives, O oh God. Even when it looks like it's impossible, even when we look at what is ahead, Lord, we pray that we will trust in you. We thank you for this week. We commit each one of us into your hands. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.